the number of approved uh, 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 drugs in sickle cell disease for right now are very few. So our idea was to try to analyze all the publications that exist, at least in published in PubMed and other sites, and trying to decide which are the, the most important uh, drugs right now. And we, uh, we, we, we found that uh, we found something that it is new. Okay, we didn't found really, really nothing very, very, very new. And we found indeed that it's oxyurea. It's a very, very important uh, treatment right now, even with the, 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 the secondary effects that it can have. Right now, it's a very important uh, uh, drug. And in the second part of the study, we confirm the need for the development of new drugs and new treatments in this area. It's very, very important. Hydroxyurea, it's used for its in Portugal, in the UK, in all over the Europe. And it's, as, as I mentioned, it's already known the importance of hydroxyurea. Now the discussion, it could be it's a fixed dose or a, high, a low to, uh, uh, maximum tolerated dose. In what concerns Angola and in what con concerns low income countries, the price is indeed right now a problem because people haven't access to the drug and you can save at least for instance the, the price of one pill in, in Europe it's probably 10 times higher in Angola because the drug is not produced there and because there is a, a, the price that we have to pay so right now the, 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 there is a small very small minority of people taking hydroxyurea in Angola what it, it, it's a shame indeed because it's proved the efficacy of the drug so it's indeed a, a difficulty right now and something should be done in the future.